Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sue with Host Study with Sue. And today I'm going to do some stuffed chicken breasts for you. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a hole down the center. Try not to cut it all the way through. Just like this. So I only have three full chicken breasts, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff three of them, and then I'm just going to put um, the other stuff on top of the other pieces of chicken, bre uh, chicken breasts that I have. Don't want to cut that too thin. We don't want it all falling out the bottom. And then I have just some chunks that I'm going to go ahead and um, just put the cheese and stuff over the top of them. So now I'm going to change my gloves. Actually, I'm going to get these. And then I'm going to change my gloves. I forgot one thing. Okay, so I'm going to salt and pepper to taste. I'm just using Costco uh, pink salt. Go ahead and shut this so I don't spill it again. Okay, I'm just gonna put some paprika over the top. I'm going to put some more gloves on. I have already set my oven to 360 degrees and have had it preheating for a while. Um, I have already greased the bottom of my baking dish. I'm going to go ahead and put some olive oil over the top of these. Kind of rub it in. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it in my pan. So I have the meat in my dish, and now I forgot a fork. Actually, so that's food. So I'm gonna go ahead and break one egg. I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese in. I need to stuff all three of these. with it so I put a little bit more in. It's probably about a cup and a half or so of cheese. I'm gonna put some 
parsley flakes in to taste. I really enjoy parsley, so I put extra. And then some heavy cream. And we're going to stir it all together. Hopefully I got enough for all three of those. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff the first one. Looks like I made more than I needed, but that's okay. I can just put the rest of it on top of these other ones. We're going to let it cook for 45 minutes at 360 degrees. And then we'll bring it out and put some mozzarella cheese on top and then put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes to let it um, melt and then we'll have dinner. I'll be back in about 45 minutes. This is what they looked like before they went into the oven. Okay, I'm getting ready to remove the chicken out of the oven so I can put some cheese on top and then put it in for another 10 minutes. As you can see, I made a salad while we were gone and also I forgot to put the ham in the chicken breast, but that's okay. We'll still eat it. All right, so this is what it looks like coming out of the oven after 45 minutes. I'm just going to put a good sized chunk of Mozzarella cheese over the top. Everything's better with mozzarella cheese. Even if you forget the meat, in the meat. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna give it 10 minutes and then I will show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the oven. That looks delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it, it temps. Hundred and seventy one. Seventy-eight. All temps just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and pull one out.
This is what it looks like on a plate. God, it smells good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.